Have you received your case ID or reference ID number, sir? No, I haven't been given a case ID. All my right, voicemail has been full. No, my voicemail is full. Nobody can leave me a message. But I know you're trying right, to get a hold of help me. me with your... All right, sir. Kindly help me with your first name and your last name. Yeah, my first name is Al, common spelling. Last name is Poe, P-O-E. Your first name, can you spell your first name? A-L, common spelling, Al. All right. So any way to spell it? Al Poe. Yes, that's correct. All right, just a moment. Let okay. me check with my system. Okay. Do you need a date of birth or anything? All right, Mr. Poe. Yes, sir. The reason you were contacted today was to inform you about some legal enforcement action file on your social security number. I haven't made a claim, in order though. To suspend your social... What? I haven't made a social security claim. I don't get it. You don't have social security administration? No, no, no. Not yet. No, I haven't made a, a, a claim for social security benefits. I'm not understanding. You have social security card, right? You have social security number. Well, of right, course. Of course. So that's what I'm saying. Your socials has found suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas. Aren't you aware of it, Mr. Poe? No, uh -uh, definitely not. All right, Mr. Poe, this is the case of identity theft. Do you know what does identity theft mean? Well, yeah, somebody's pretending to be me. I don't know why they pretend to be me. Exactly. Someone has stolen your identity and he's committing crime under your name in the state of Texas. It might be anyone. That's it might be bitch. some of your friends, your co-worker, your colleague, your neighbors, your family member. It might be anyone, Mr. Poe. So did you receive any phone call from your local sheriff department today? No. Uh-uh. Bitch, it's a fucking JRU wing down there. No, I didn't get any calls Sorry? from... So I, I bet you it's at JRU wing down there in Dallas. Mr. Poe? Yes. Kindly grab pen and paper handy. I'll give you information for your future reference. So let me know once you're ready, all right? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah, I got a post-it note right here by the phone all the time. What you got? All right. It's your case. Now note down your case ID number. It's okay. D as in Delta. C as in Charlie. Uh-huh. 04537. Am 04. I clear, Mr. Poe? Yeah. You said DC. Right. You said D Delta Charlie Oscar 4537. Correct. Okay. Now, Mr. Poe, I'm going to go ahead and read out your legal charges. While I'm speaking, do not interrupt me because this call has been federally recorded and monitored by mean? higher department and Department of Justice. I'll give you a fair enough chance to speak and raise your questions. All right, Mr. Paul? Well, I understand, but if I don't understand something, shouldn't I be able to question it? It'd be easier for the recording to be followed in court? What you haven't understand, Mr. Paul? Well, I'm saying, as, as you're talking, if you say something I don't understand or I need clarification on, shouldn't I ask it I'll then? I'll give you every information, Paul. Mr. Bo, I will give you each and every information, so kindly listen to me very carefully, all right? All right. So, investigation started when we found an abandoned car in the south border of Texas, and the car model was Toyota Corolla 2016. Car contained some drugs and blood residues inside it. After the local sheriff department investigated, they found that the car was rented under your name and under your socials, and there were two addresses linked with the title of vehicle. First one is 39 Harvest Street, San Antonio, Texas. And second address is Rollett, Texas, 58103. So, Mr. Poe, do you recognize any of this address? No. Nope. All I right, to update you both the addresses that I mentioned, you were already raided by the State Rangers Division and U.S. Marshal. Unfortunately, there was no one at their residence, but they recovered a consignment of 23 pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drug. They also found some papers and documentation which were related to Banking Institute of Chase Bank, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Credit Union, and many more. And when we verified all the bank accounts, they were all under your name and under your socials. So hmm. now the question arises, when we were investigating this banking institute with respected financial institute, we found that more than thousands of dollars has been wired from this account locally and internationally to narco-trafficking countries like Mexico and Colombia. And the suspicious thing was that entire paperwork was under your name, Mr. Poe. So we, as Social Security Administration, has got an order to suspend your socials right away. 
So now once I'm done with this notification call, your case will be forwarded to the courthouse and FBI headquarters. So Mr. Poe, now I'll ask you a few questions and you only have to answer the truth, all right? Uh, okay. Have you ever visited the state of Texas in your whole life, man? Yes. All right, may I know when? I go down there every year. All right. Have you ever lost your phone, your socials, your wallet, your card in the past? Mm, I mean, a long time ago. It'd be, a driver's license I lost, it'd, it'd be expired, so it wouldn't be any good. You lost your driving license? Years ago. I was like All in right. my 20s. Just a moment. All right, Mr. Poe, did you ever share your debit card with someone? No, hell no. All right. As you're telling me on this recorded conversation that you're not the one who is responsible for this criminal activities, Social Security Administration will give you a fair enough chance to speak and raise your question and prove your innocence. We just have to get it verified by Federal Trade Commission and U.S. Marshal. Once it's verified, we can help you safeguard your declared asset and trust anything and everything connected to your social. It's going to be seized, freezed, and confiscated. It would be taken into the custody by law. So, Mr. Poe, there are multiple information under your name. So, in order to segregate which information belongs to you and which information is created by imposter, we just need to fill up an asset ver verification form so kindly cooperate. So, as I told you, we have found a Toyota Corolla under your name. So, do you have any cars under your name, Mr. Poe? Yeah, not a Toyota Corolla, though. All right. How many cars do you have? Uh, I'm a collector, so... Let me see. I mean, I'd probably have to go out and count them. Sorry? I'd probably have to go out and count them. You don't does have it... a figure? How many cars do you have? Mr. Well, I, I'm, a, I'm a collector, and do they have to be running? Come again? Do they have to be running cars? Because I have some that are in a restoration state. They're being restored, so right. they're not running, they're not road legal. So are we talking street legal cars? Are we talking, I mean, do you want race cars in there? Because I have some race cars. What? It, you got to be more descriptive when you say cars. You see what I'm saying? Do you own any car? Yes. I said, do you own any car? Yes. How many cars do you have? You don't. You don't have approximate number. Thirty. Thirty-five. You have thirty-five cars under your yes. name. Yes. And you said you're you're a collector. Correct. All right. Just a moment. Let me check with my system. Okay. I mean, you're going to have thirty-five registered because some of them are race cars. So they're not street legal. All right, Mr. Poe, do you have a driving license? Of course. Who would have that many cars without a driver's license? Right. That'd be stupid. All right, can you verify your entire mailing address, Mr. Poe? Uh-huh. It's 200 200 Lake Drive. All right. Washington, Pennsylvania, 15301. Washington? Yes. And what is your zip code? 15301. 15301. All yep. right. Just a moment. All right. Mr. Poe, as I told you, we have found several bank accounts under your name. So do you have any bank accounts under your name? What banking institute you bank with, Mr. Poe? USAA. You bank with USA Bank? USAA. USAA, all right. Is yes. it checking or saving? Which account do you have? Both. You have both, all right. May I know what was the approximate balance in your checking? In my checking? There are figure. Yes. Um, 75,000? I don't know. All right, I'm just asking the rough figure because I just need to segregate. 
Well, that's, that's a rough savings. figure. Savings, probably 250000 right. somewhere in that neighborhood. Two hundred. Yes. All right. Do you hold any debit card with same bank? Of course. All right. How many credit cards do you have? Three. Three debit cards. All right. Yep. Credit card. Sorry. Do you yep. have any IRA account? No. Do you have any 401k account? Yes. I am 401k through my employer. Yes. All right. How much cash do you have on liquid? I have to ask this question because this is the case of money laundering. How much cash do How I have in what? How much cash do you have with you right now? Do I have How with me? How much cash do you have with you right now? Okay, yes. well, that's not what you said the first time. Don't get hyper with me now. Um, about $600. All right. Okay, Mr. Poe, now what I will do, I'll transfer this call to the officer. So just be huh. honest with them as you were with me. So, All right. Um, let's let's rewind our conversation here a bit when we were talking about how uh, in this recorded line that you're going to give me a fair enough chance to raise my questions when you were done. You're just going to bypass that now? No. He's just fucking us out the window. He doesn't get to ask his questions? All right. So do you have any questions, Mr. Poe? Well, yeah. All right. Raise it. Okay, so this car that was rented under my name, who is it rented from? El Po. What? Who rented was it? Rented your name, Mr. El Po. No, not who was it rented to, who was it rented from? Car was rented under your name. Car was rented under our post name. Okay, let me try this again. If you rent a car, you rent that from a business. What business rented right. Alpo the car? I'll transfer this call to DA. Nah, I asked you a question. No, 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 no. You're going to answer my question. You said you would. You're going to answer my question. I don't have that answer. You don't. Wait a minute. You said you're going to answer. You're going to tell me each and everything. That would include each and everything. So you can transfer me once you find out this information. Well, Why don't you? If you want, if you want, why don't you Alpo, listen to me? If I'm transferring this call to DA, officer, no, no, what state was it rented in? And every no, uh, bullshit, because you can't give you me scared? each and everything. Are you scared? scared of what, Mr. Poe? Are you scared of what? I'm transferring this call to DA. I know you, you, you're after Postman you answer my question, you can officer. transfer all you want. I'm just asking a simple question, I'm not asking one that's hard. Your call will be transferred. Your call will be transferred. Because you don't know. Because so you don't know shit. Hold on a line. All right. Whatever. Mr. Elpo. Yes. Are you there? Yeah. I'll give you. I'll give you one one wireless number, and you have to send your ID on that number. All right. Uh, no, not until you answer my question. Each and nothing. I mean, you say, oh, I'll tell you each and everything, and you tell me each and nothing, and you want more from me? No, bullshit. You're going to tell me, where was the car rented from? What company? What state? Before you demand anything else from it me. It was rented, rented. It was rented from Texas, Mr. Poe. From what company? In what area of Texas? Texas is a big-ass right, state. Let me, let me check. Yeah, you find that out, what? and then get back to me. So hold on a moment. Let me check with my system, all right? Yeah. Investigation Department of Fraudulent Activity, how may I assist you? Where was the car rented from? From your ad.
Investigation Department of Fraudulent Activity. I am SCCO. Man, you're an amateur. You hang up on your own insults. You're not even done with your insult. You're hanging up.